physical constraints. The fourth thing that we might feel restricted by is our physicality, whether that be our strength, our fitness, our body size and shape, whether it be injuries, etc. We may feel that we can't do this because of some, what we might perceive as a limitation there. But again, that doesn't have to be the case. The value of having a coach in every session is that we can find a way to work around any and all of those things. We can scale the session so we can still do it and still find it effective no matter where our body size, shape, fitness levels and strength are. We can adjust the session, adapt it, change things up a little bit to work around injuries. From my experience, there really is no reason not to exercise unless we just choose not to. The reasons we might give around our physicality, they, we don't have to then still exercise. It's our choice, our life, our body, we do what we want with it. But they don't have to be reasons. If anything, they can be reasons to do it. We can choose to do it because our body shape and strength and fitness aren't where we'd like it to be. We can choose to do it for the benefits it can bring around injuries and other restrictions and limitations like that. So in short, physical restrictions do not need to be a reason not to exercise. They don't need to be a reason to eat better. If anything, they can be a reason to do those things.